Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> we are still here at that co-op truck stop. And we are just putting her in gear. And we're gonna get out of here. That's right. They've had us a good night's sleep. I didn't even set no alarm clock. I woke up here around 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. That's right. And I got up slowly and uh, did my paperwork and now it's quarter to 7. Now we are Slide ready. Left. Narrow road ahead. Ready to go. That's right. Get on to the road here and then let's make our way down to uh, Madison Hat. Yeah. Continue on this road for 68 kilometers. I don't know exactly how far it is up to uh, Moose Jaws, Saskatchewan, but uh, our plan right now is make it up to uh, Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan and then uh, fuel up over there, take us a shower and uh, I want to get probably some cleaning product. I'm starting to run low on cleaning products and then what I want to do as soon as I'm done uh, dropping my trailer there in Madison Hat I'm going to go back to the truck stop and I'm going to be uh, cleaning my truck. It needs a good cleaning. And then once I'm done with that, I will do a live show. Yeah, that's my plan anyways. But that was uh, a week ago when I did the live show. So when you watch this video, that has already happened. But anyways, let's get on down the road and uh, we'll show you what we can today. I know it's going to be a bit of a shorter day because it's uh, it's only 545 kilometers to Madison Hat right now. So that's only about a five and three quarter hours drive or five and, you know, I guess you could say six hours if you're really slow or whatever. But with our time being wasted there, probably at that Flying J, it probably will be more like six and a half hours by the time we get down to Madison Hat. Because I'll probably go in there, take me a shower, get me my cleaning supplies, fuel up and all that. That takes some time, you know. So by the time we're done with all of that, it's going to be probably an hour, you know. So, uh, hey. Let's get on down the road. You probably can't see much out of the outside window, so uh, we'll film a little bit more once it's daylight. So happy Sunday, and thank you for uh, riding along with me today. All right, guys and gals, we are now coming into, uh, well, Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. That's right. Right up there to the right is where that uh, Flying J is at. And that's where we're going to take us a little bit of a break. We're going to go in there and fuel the truck up. I'm going to see if we can get us a parking spot somewhere. And then uh, we're going to go inside and take us a shower. And after that, we're going to get us some cleaning products so we can clean the truck later. We'll have some time to do that later on this afternoon. At least I think so. Turn right. We still haven't gotten no reload offer yet, so uh, that to me means that we will be sitting there. Yeah, these Canadian roads, man, they are rough in some spots. Not everywhere, but some places they don't seem to fix them very good. 
Well, looks like luckily for us, there is not too many people lined up there for the fuel island. So we should be able to fuel up there, no problem. Sometimes throughout the day, there is a ton of trucks parked or basically trying to fuel, right? And then we gotta sit here and wait and wait trying to get fuel, you know? Well, I see a spot right there. See if we will find another spot over there. If not, we'll come around and park her in there. Doesn't really matter to me. That's right. So let's get out and get some go go juice. Yeah, it looks like this side. Oh, maybe they're on the side there, maybe. But everything looks pretty packed in here. There we go. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Here we are, guys and gals. Now we have left uh, Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. That's right. <clears throat> we had a much needed shower. Bought us our uh, supplies for cleaning later on today. Yeah, met up with a uh, very nice uh, fellow truck driver. Yeah, we got talking away there and uh, started talking about YouTube and all that and uh, I handed him a business card of, uh, from my YouTube channel. He looks at it and he says, yeah, I've seen a few of your videos. <laughs> ah, that was funny. That, that was nice. Nice to see. He said his daughter had, uh, I guess, discovered me somehow and... Uh, had told him about my channel and he watched a few of my videos so that's awesome I appreciate that very much <clears throat> yeah that's very nice when I can meet up with people that have actually watched a few of my videos <laughs> yeah but anyways we got us uh, 400 kilometers to go pretty much up to our final destination. That'll take us about four and a quarter hours or so. And we'll be there. That's right, we filled up the truck. We got lots of go-go juice now. The only reason why I really filled up over there was because uh, I don't really know any other Flying J from here to Madison Hat. Um, I've heard there is a small one there on the south part of Madison Hat, but I don't know exactly where it's at. I've never been there. So I figured out, I'll just fuel up over here. And that way I'm good to go. That way I don't have to worry about fuel. I mean, I was only down to about half a tank. So it was no big deal. But yeah, here we are back on the road again no snow in sight anymore so that's fantastic although it got a little bit cold this last night I think it went down to like minus six or seven degrees Celsius that is when I got up this morning and uh, got outside it uh, it felt colder than what it really was <laughs> it's been nice and warm for the last couple of days so my body wasn't used to that cold temperature anymore. <laughs> so it gave me a little bit of a chop stepping out the truck, you know. But that's okay. We're nice and comfy here in the truck, right? That's what I would say. But yeah, we're gonna go make our delivery today and uh Looks like we should be there about 2 o'clock my time. Well, it's 10, uh, just after 10 now. So it'll be 11, 12, 1, 2. Yeah, about 2.15 or something like that. Our time, we should be there. So I'll go ahead and clean the truck and then... Uh, I'll probably uh, start my live show. Yeah, I'll probably be done by 3 o'clock my trailer switch and going over there to the truck stop clean out the truck that's going to take me probably an hour 
clean up, get ready for a live show. I think I'm gonna start at around five o'clock. So yeah. That's what I think anyways. So let's get on down the road and see what kind of goodies we'll be able to show you. Here we go guys. We have now left Swift Current. Saskatchewan. We just finished doing our live show there a few minutes ago. Yeah. Man, that was a nice uh, live show I think that we did. It was probably a little bit over an hour long that we did. That was just fantastic. I love interacting with you guys, you know. And I think the best way to do it is doing a live show like that. We can talk about whatever and uh, you guys can ask questions and uh, I can try and answer them and all that, you know. I think it just worked out perfectly. I love it. I love it when I can interact with you guys because it gives me a, a more of an understanding of my channel, of my community, all the viewers that are on there. All of you guys, you know, it gets to uh, to where we can uh, get to know each other a little bit better, you know. You can ask me questions. I can find out a little bit maybe about you, you know. I can ask you guys questions and you can answer them on there and stuff like that. I think it's just a fantastic way of uh, of doing it, you know. I love it, but uh, I haven't done <laughs> too many live shows lately, but uh, I'm going to try and make an effort in doing it more often. I, I, think that's, uh, I think that's important for my channel. I really do. I really do think it's important for my channel. And honestly, I don't really know too many other YouTubers that actually come on here live all the time, you know? And I think if I can... Uh, maybe do that more often uh, I could be uh, one of the only uh, youtubers out there that that really does that on a regular basis you know I mean honestly when have you seen trucker Josh doing a live show I've never seen him doing a live show on YouTube never never ever have I seen him doing that and not too many other YouTubers have I seen doing a live show I think but the only one that I've seen was Trucker Jukebox that actually did that. That's about the only other people that I've seen doing that. But yeah, I like it. I really enjoy it. But anyways, now we got beautiful sunshine. We only got 213 kilometers to go and then we'll be in uh, Madison Ave. We'll deliver this load. We'll still be there plenty early. We'll still be able to clean our truck and that was a fantastic evening. Render this video. I didn't render yesterday's video either, so uh, I'll give us a little bit of something to do and we can upload those to YouTube as soon as they're rendered and all that stuff. So with that being said, let's get on down the road and see what else we'll be able to show you today. Ladies and gentlemen, the chicken coop is open. That's Play right. Station ahead. Yes, RJ, I know about it. Trans Canada Highway, Highway 1. Yeah. I do know that the chicken coop is open. Let's open the window a little bit. So if they want to say something In to us, we can meters, hear them. Turn right on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 1. Let's find out what they want. Like this scale is almost always open. Usually they are, anyways. So far, so good. Looks like we're good to go. Yep, it says slowly ahead. I guess we can continue on rolling. That's right. But it is absolutely... 
absolutely gorgeous out here today. Beautiful sunshine. She almost looks like there's even some bugs starting to come out already. Continue on this yeah. road for 18 kilometers. We only got about 18 kilometers to go and then we'll be in Madison Hut. That's right. Not much longer and we will be done for today. Yeah, we love it. And then we gotta clean the truck. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna try and super clean the truck this today. Hopefully we manage to do that. Bought all the products for it, so we're gonna attempt to do it, right? That's right. We gotta go through one more little town, and then we're in the next town after that. And we're in Madison Hut. We are already in Alberta. Yep. Yeah, it's not too far into Alberta where uh, Madison Hut is. So let's make our way down there and uh, see if we can find somebody to sign our paperwork so we can get paid for this load. And then we'll be good to go. That's right. So we gotta slow down over here. In Saskatchewan and Alberta, they've been, uh, well, I don't know about Alberta, but Saskatchewan, they, you wanna slow down when they have a slow down sign because. Uh, a lot of areas nowadays they got speeding cameras so you definitely want to make sure you slow down that's for sure otherwise you're gonna get yourself a nice picture in the mail <laughs> yeah already ladies and gentlemen we are now done we are in Madison Hat Alberta we have dropped our trailer that's right so we're going to show you a little bit on uh, my whole selection here for uh, my cleaning products. So we number one we need some uh, some of this blue paper towel and we got some uh, glass cleaner spray. This is a really good spray. And uh, we got some, uh, some of this stuff to wipe off the dashboard. And we got some uh, basically multi cleaner type of uh, spray that we will be using to spray onto the floor and all that and wipe all of that off and then I got some of these uh, wipes here to wipe off the dashboard with and I also needed some gloves so I got me some gloves and we got us a refreshener yeah so that way uh, it actually smells good in here when we're done. That's right. That's the whole purpose. Get everything cleaned and smell nicely, right? So we can achieve that. We have achieved our goal, right? So let's get to cleaning. All right, I figured I would show you a before and an after cleaning job. Yeah, I already got me my uh, vacuum cleaner out here. Just gonna get the cable out of the way there a little bit so we can actually see stuff. So let's have a look. Yeah, it looks nasty in here, don't it? Yeah, I don't know what kind of pig has been living in here, but yeah, we're gonna get to cleaning. Let's look at over here in the front. This is usually where I have my shoe box and I have my shoes, and you see all of this spots here on the floor. That's what we're gonna be cleaning off over here. Yeah, dashboard is not too bad. It's a little bit fuzzy, but it all, all gets fuzzy when uh, when you uh, leave everything. You know, I guess uh, that's the trying. What the word I'm trying to get is, if you don't clean at all, the longer you wait, the dustier everything gets, and the harder it is everything to to clean everything. In my opinion, but. Anyways, let's get to cleaning. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, the master has cleaned his own truck. And I can almost comfortable, comfortably say right now that the truck is as clean as it has ever been. 
I've been cleaning probably for about a couple of hours now. I vacuum cleaned the whole floor. I hope you can see that. Not nearly as junk in here anymore as there used to be, like as you saw probably earlier. I vacuumed everything underneath there. I wiped everything off over there. I wiped off all of these cabinets, all of them. I wiped them all off, the fridge, everything. I wiped off the whole dashboard. I cleaned this whole area. You guys remember there was like spots right there and all of that. I cleaned all of that. I cleaned underneath the seats right there. Yep, that's a whole bag full of trash that I uh, accumulated from cleaning my truck. So let's take a look at the shiny, uh, shiny uh, dashboard now. Look at that. That looks nice. No more dust on there, so that's good. So now it's time to go wash my hands and start editing on my video. I still got to do yesterday's video yet, and then I'll probably uh, finish off this video later on today, and then uh, probably finish editing this video as well. So. Let's uh, see you guys in a little while. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is the next morning already, but I figured, well, I'll close off the show anyways. We had us a fantastic day yesterday, and now my truck is very nice and clean. So I'm very happy about that. So uh, we had us a good night's sleep as well. Yeah. I did not set any alarm clocks whatsoever for today. Just went to bed and slept good. Yeah. Woke up here about, I guess, 9.30, quarter to 10 central time and looked at my satellite and we got a load offer. But uh, they want me to go to uh, North Battlefort, Alberta and then go from there to uh, North Dakota, which I unfortunately can't do. I don't have uh, many US hours left anymore, and by the time I go over there, and go down south, I'd be out of hours, I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> so I sent them a message back, I said, sorry, I can't, um, no US hours, so uh, we'll see what kind of load they'll come up with now. Usually they do have reload out of here, but I guess they don't have nothing today or somebody else got it so uh, so yeah I guess uh, we'll just have to wait and see but uh, anyways uh, I hope you enjoyed my uh, vlog today although it was probably you know maybe not too bad you know it was some driving in there and showing you guys a little bit what I do on my time off or clean my truck and all that stuff so uh, we'll see you again tomorrow we'll see what kind of goodies we can come up with and what kind of reload we get so stick around for that to find out have a good one everybody and be sure to give me a big thumbs up share this video hit that subscribe button if you're new to our channel we would love to have you on board and you will get daily videos from here we will at least try our very best to do that so have a go on, we'll catch you tomorrow right here on Trucker Rudy. It's time to get going, it's time to move on. Put this behind me.